welcome to the podcast. I'm very excited for you to meet my guest. If you don't, if you're not a fan of Castle or haven't heard him or met him on one of my previous podcasts, Seamus Dever, uh, one of my favorite people. I think I say that about all my guests, but the guests that I've had on so far as we're rebuilding this podcast and figuring out what the fuck it is. Um, can I say fuck? Fuck it. Fuck it. Um, that uh, I'm just having on some of my favorite people, Brian Unger, Shane Hartline, Shame Stever, amazing, amazing people. Um, I want you guys to meet them, and uh, I haven't talked to them in a while. It's like I haven't really, I've talked to them as friends, but I haven't really like had a deep conversation with these people since like before the stupid pandemic. So it's it, the podcasts are great, even when I have my friends on, because you have conversations with people that you normally wouldn't have and you learn things about people that you wouldn't learn over like a drink or a hike or lunch or whatever it is because you can't you don't really you don't really have social permission to ask us some of the questions that I'm asking people in this show it's not that I'm asking people things that they don't want to talk about it's just that like like why are you asking me that (laughs) why are you asking me where I went to high school you know or things like that so um this is an interview with with Seamus Dever uh again if you're not a fan of Castle, hit the the show that he was in. Uh, I think you will be after this. I hope you will be after this. You kind of learn about what an idiot I am. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna put that out there. But I think that's one of my most endearing qualities. <laughs> Not that I'm an idiot, but the fact that I'm okay to admit it. I remember th- like growing up being called weird or any of this shit was like was like a badge of shame. And I don't know if that's the changing of the times or me just not caring or me making a career on the fact that I'm okay admitting that when I'm an idiot, I don't mind that. I think that's kind of like, I think it's funny. I think it's funny. If I don't, if someone says a word in a sentence and I don't know, I stop them and say, what does that word mean? It's also because I feel like I have a decent vocabulary. I talk good and I use good words. And so... If I if someone uses a word that I don't know, I'm not ashamed to ask them that. And you never should be. You should never be ashamed. You want you should always be on a learning quest. So anyway, um, let's talk really quick about about Steve because as we're developing this podcast and learning what it is, um, it doesn't seem to have Steve in it. And we've talked about this. I've talked about this in, in previous podcasts or maybe like the last one that. I'm trying to schedule Steve in, but maybe I'm working too hard to like make him fit in. And maybe he just doesn't fit into this new trajectory that I'm on to create some great content in these podcasts, doing my stand up, continuing to do my shows. And it doesn't like, you know, Steve being in the program, not having had a drink in three years has something to do with it. I think on his side, does not mine. I don't give a shit. Doesn't really matter. Um, he still says and does dumb things, but um, which are entertaining to me. Sometimes stressful, um, but but maybe that's just part of what what this is. And like he still has a part in my life as my best friend, but from an entertainment perspective and a persona and what I'm trying to create here, maybe that's just not not part of it. So um, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm using you guys as therapy, but I don't really mind that. So uh, this is my interview with Seamus Dever. This is, I'm titling this podcast Confessions. Okay. I, have a lo- I have a lot of them. Okay. Okay? Okay. So I said, I said I'm very excited about this, this show today. And you're like, I am too. I'm like, I don't think that you're excited in the way in the that I'm way. excited. This is going to be very cathartic for me <laughs> to get some things off my chest. Good. Um, first, I'm going to enjoy an Olipop. Wow, that's great soda. They send them to Mel. Okay. And Mel lives for these. And let me tell you why. 50 calories, uh, uh, 18 carbs, but only five sugars. I've so seen these. I don't at, know what the rest is. Hey, Mel, what's... Oh, it has, it's got cassava root. It's got fiber. It's got chicory. I don't know what yours has in I it. I think but. it's the fructose. The, the fruit juice makes the carbs. But that's not necessarily bad carbs. I don't think all carbs are built alike. You can taste it. I've seen these at Whole Foods. They're like $5. So I'm glad they sent it to Mel. And I'm (laughs) glad to be sitting here enjoying one. They're expensive. They are. They're not five. That's an exaggeration. That's some hyperbole. It's pretty close. They have a... um, um, It's got slippery elm bark in it. It's got... 
calendar wildflower. Kendra, Kaduza, wildflower. He's got Caduza root. Caduza root. My, my, yeah, I love Caduza root. Always talk I grew about up on Caduza root. <laughs> <laughs> Very hardy. You, you did. You Hard did, so. scrabble people. You just you get it so, right out of the ground and you chew on it. Stop sending these to Mel. <laughs> Send them to me. See what I just did? I just sold a bunch. I don't think that they're five bucks, but they're expensive. Olipop. But they're worth it. Yeah. How did you get the the the, the scars on your on your knuckles? That I'm 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 so glad you asked that. I get them all the time. Um, I want to know why. I you're... there was this homeless guy. Ah. And he just looked at me sideways. Yeah, and I didn't like it. You had to kill I it. Didn't like it, you dude. You know what this is? I was drifter. literally. It's good. We send about thirty-seven cats to the vet every day. Yeah. You know, because you just talked to Mel. She just got back from the vet. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I was just going and grabbing these cat carriers, and I did this. I didn't even feel it. You raked and it's your... and it. What's stupid about it is a. It does look like I. Mark, turn off your phone. It does look like. I got into a fight or did something stupid, like punched a wall. Mel said something and I punched a wall. No. Oh. Yeah. And so it's completely oh. innocent, but I have my TV special that I'm shooting Ooh. in four days. I'm going to have to put makeup That's on. That's your microphone hand. I know. And so you're going to be like, oh, hey. You're, you're going to be impossible, impossible to not look at. And you so can't I do it left-handed. It's going to throw no. off the whole thing. That's exactly you right. Think about those things. The practical uh, matters. If So I'm going to have to have a makeup artist oh. make up that out. Is yeah. that the weirdest thing? You could just use some touch-up. You don't have to have a whole makeup. I mean, I'm sure you're going to have a makeup artist <laughs> anyway. Clients. But it's like... <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm going to have to have some touch-up yeah, because it's fucking... It's being shot in 6K. Not that people are going to watch it in 6K, but they could watch it in 4K. And they'll zoom in and they'll go, wait, wait a minute. What is going Why is he... Why? And they're so new that they're What's even a little hiding? shiny today. And I, and I accidentally... <laughs> Bumped one of them, so yes. Um, you will bump it again. That's the rule of those things. <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean to derail our conversation. I will bump I'm just it again. Curious. Um, if I had okay. this. This one is when I was at the brewery mm. scouting the location the first time. Mm. And I was trying to open this door, and I hit this thing, this metal thing, mm. and scraped it. It looked just like that, and it's taken this long, which is about a month. It's a long time to look like. That. Well, it happens when you get older. I got this. Uh, what? From I don't a trash heal can. as quickly. You don't heal as quick. That's I what they say. I didn't ask about your. This isn't I got a comparison. Trash can. I bleed all the time. I'm just curious because and then and then and then wait, dog stuff. Roses, get, roses. So wait, we're getting Damn older roses. and our we we're losing our ability to. I don't heal? know if our platelets do the same thing as they get older. I, I think depressing. it takes a while. You you That's a depressing. scar will hang around for a long time. I always it have is, cat scratches. But, you know. Yeah. I always have these cat yeah, scratches. That's gonna for people listening to the show and not watching it. You're missing out on a lot of shit right now. You're missing out on some great old man visuals. This is good for, for radio. Um, yeah. You're not old man. How much younger are you than a I am? A couple years. I'm 45 years old. I'm only a couple years older. Younger than I, you. By the time you're people are listening to this, you're gonna, glad you're sitting down. By the time people are watching and listening to this, because we're recording a bunch because I'm going out of town, blah, blah, blah. 50. You'll be 50. 50. You, you are 50 at, yeah. at the airing of this. I'm waiting. Wow. Half a century. I'm waiting for something. Half a century. Congratulations. I'm, that's not, nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Nope, not what I'm looking How for. How exciting. A half century of progress. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Some of the best years. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Civilization. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Looking happy for something birthday. Different. Nope, I'm looking for something completely different that what? hasn't even occurred to you. It's not even crossing your mind. Zane, Zane. you don't look 50. You, oh, oh. <laughs> Wow! Look, look, this is California. Holy shit! Like nobody looks be, their age. Be surprised. No, you're like a you're like an Arizona thirty five. <laughs> I'm a, I'm nobody a, looks their age out I'm here. I'm a Lake Havasu twenty eight. You're Lake Havasu twenty eight. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the equivalency. Oh my gosh! Let's okay, <laughs> let's get. We're gonna get into it, but this is fine. This is what it's all about. the The issue is. I'm gonna get to this at the end. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm gonna close with this. Um, okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna close with this. I here's my first confession, and this is this is so dumb, but you you and I communicated on I think social media, maybe Instagram or something like that. Hey, this dude's got a blue check mark. I got a blue check mark. We're both verified as cool dudes. So I start talking to you. See that you're on the show, Castle. I hadn't seen the show. Okay, I hadn't seen Castle. And you know, I started talking, and then at some point, I don't know how the series of events. I guess you came on my podcast. I did, personally. and then and then you did this other show, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And then you guys came over, maybe after the podcast. Oh, you and Jules came on. Yeah, and yeah. you and your wife came on, the, and then you guys brought wine, and you stayed, and we finished a bottle or two of wine. We hung out and hung yeah. out. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, awesome. He's he's cool. Um, super cool. 
but I hadn't seen Castle. And oh. and it, it like I've always been like I gotta watch that fucking show. And so, um, I when I was re- practicing for my stand up, the clubs were closed, all the places were closed. Um, and so I uh, had groups of people come over, sit by my campfire, which is right here, right outside. Uh, we're gonna cut to a little shot of it. Oh, Mark, you're gonna get a shot of that. Oh, look at that picture. Thing? Good, that awesome. looks great. great. Thank, thank you so much. It in my mind. Thank you so much. <sighs> and so, uh, remember? I remember that. And so I was like, hey, why don't you guys come by? You're like, we'd love to. I'm like, fantastic. F- bring some friends, whatever. And you brought another couple. Mm-hmm. And this guy shows up. And you, you and Jules brought this amazing charcuterie board and possibly some crudité and a wide assortment of meats and vegetables and cheeses and things for us to nosh on. No one else did that, which, by the way, really? amazing. No. Uh, uh, now, your friend, uh, John. John. Your friend John mm-hmm. brought uh, a bag of gin and lavender honey and all these extra little things, maybe some fresh rosemary. And he's like, I'd like to make some cocktails. And we're like, okay, we'll get some ice. We made some cocktails. And and um, I think it was still in COVID, so we're like, maybe we shouldn't go inside. Let's just do it outside. I think that that, I don't know, whatever. Right, that awkward so, time. The awkward yeah. time. <clears throat> so he made these amazing, I think they're called bee's knees. I think so, yeah. Cocktails. Yeah. And Mel, um, who's very shy, like came came out. I'm like, Mel, you have to come out and meet these people and say hi to the Devers. And she came out. <laughs> and and so she came out and she tried she's like, Wait, this is amazing. And Mel was a bartender for 15, 12, 15 right, years. Right, right. She's like, This is really good. Are you a bartender? He's like, No, 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 no. And I'm like, All right, like we're and he's like, Yeah, I just got this honey. This is my honey. And like, oh, you have honey? He's like, Yeah, I'm like I don't like I don't are you a beekeeper? I don't know what what are you? He's like, no, 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 like, what are you like whatever? And then we just didn't get to it. Like, oh, I'm an actor. Like, oh, okay, good for you. You right. know what? Things will work out. You know what I mean? Like, you're out here <laughs> trying to act. That's good. No, yeah. I'm I su- I'm supportive. Like, I'm glad he you brought like someone nice over. Guy. He seems like a nice guy. I wish him the best. He should probably he'll probably do well. Yeah. Okay. Did you catch on to that? That that was what was happening. No, I thought I just assumed you knew who he was and everything. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I mean, the beekeeper thing threw it a little bit. You're like, <laughs> you're like, I think that's what he does. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I make, uh, I make honey. So down you're, I've never met a professional beekeeper before. No, I mean, I, like, I, I well, do, no, but it's I, not what I, I do on my roof. I do or something. a hobby. I got a couple hives up on the roof, and yeah, um, but but not. I mean, because yeah. it's that thing you don't say what you do, and like, I mean, and we live in LA, so we know the code of like, don't list everything that you've done it's because exa- it's that's like it, that's exactly. Oh, it. I'll catch on. I think I'll by context, I'll figure out who this person Ex- is exactly because that's what we do. Yeah. Unless you're from not LA, and then you go, what have I seen you in? Oh, great. Oh, what is and, it? And, mm. and maybe, and that's what, what and, shows. And, and me, I'm often inside my head. I forget to say things. Like, I even had a friend. Like, text me yesterday, hey, man, I can't meet up. I got this. I'm dealing with some stuff, whatever. I'm like, okay, let me know, whatever. And I said to Mel, should I, what should I have said? She's like, you should have said, hey, you know, I would respect your privacy, but like, if you ever need someone to talk to, I'm here and, and like, let me know. And I go, I think that's implied. She's like, it's not. You need to say it. So I'm like, mm. thank you. Mm. So I said it. And he's like, thanks, bro. I'm good, but I appreciate whatever. Oh, cool. I, I always have that in my mind. Like, a buddy of mine, this is, this is a, out of nowhere but like a buddy of mine's parents were getting divorced when I was like probably 20 mm. and my or maybe 23 and my dad had just passed away a few years before and I kind of didn't like when people brought it up because it kind of like oh that's right my dad did die oh, Thank you know what mm, I mean whatever yeah. so I never brought it up with him Yeah, he's my best friend mm. uh, like if you want to talk about it that's fine but he's at his college I'm at mine whatever and so all of a sudden he fucking ghosts for like months yeah. and like did I do something wrong he's like yeah you, not once have you asked me how That's I'm doing like during this thing. I'm like, yeah. bro, I'm your best friend. Yeah. I was trying to give you space. You 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 interpret it as me being selfish, but in my mind, I have reasons for it. Yeah. So I didn't like pry because if I send to your friend John, hey, oh, like what have I seen you in? He's like, oh, I've just done some industrials and some student films. Like I just didn't want to like put him on the spot. You know what I mean? I mean, you, you if if the first thing you say of what you do uh, after beekeepers keepers, I'm an actor. Then it's uh, it's sort of implied that you're okay with talking about it. Yeah, probably. So that I I would think so, right? And Otherwise, like, well, you know, a few things here and there. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, can do a couple of things. So, <laughs> I t- we, I take a picture of the four of us and I post it, mm. and one of our good friends, Jackie, loses her shit. 
she's like, wait, you had those people at your house? I am a huge, I love the Devers. I'm a mm. huge Castle fan. And I'm like, oh, and I don't know if I tagged John. And she's like, and John da, da, John is on, um, what's it called? This is us. This is us. <clears throat> so, so anyway, That's funny. come to find out, this is so stupid. John was your partner on Castle yeah. for not too long, maybe, I don't know, eight fucking years. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> God. And so, and like, yes, I should have known him. Now he's on This Is Us, one of the highest rated shows, like, yeah. currently or ever. I don't and know. He directs whatever it is. episodes now, too. And so. he directs. And he directs episodes. Oh, why didn't he say, us, well, so. I direct a few well, things here and there. Two. What are you doing? What are you directing? Industrial directing student films? Like, <laughs> He, um, I, I, you wanted somebody. I wanted somebody to bring someone over who could give you some good constructive criticism yeah. if you needed it. Yeah. I, I figured that was the best audience for. It. It was like, no, it's just you know everything was really great. Saying I wish you the best. <laughs> I wanted to have with somebody who could go like, well, yeah, because because John and I have that kind of collaborative yeah. partnership. Of yeah. Like we we've we had a music group together. Uh, we still sort of do. Um, we were writing some things together that we'd like to get going. Um, we've done short films together. Then Pin. We, Put a little pin in that. A little pin that. Back up a little bit. Yeah. Music group? Yeah, we had a group. Uh, we have a group um, called Shay Jean um, that was started. Okay. Uh, when That'd we were... be Seamus and John kind Correct. of a thing. Correct, yeah. Shay okay. Jean. J-E-A-N. Shay Jean. Oh, wow. So we... They, they, they would do, do bistro music or something? There was an episode. No, it, um, uh, hip-hop comedy. Um, Stop it! Kind of a la Lonely Island, but 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 not but, but not satire and not really aping other things. Although they didn't do that either. Anyway, but yeah, that was that same kind of thing that we were trying to do was was sort of say let's write original songs, um, let's make them funny and and catchy. Okay, and I'm that a, was our. Do idea. you you have one of those songs? I do. There's one that only one that's. There's been two that have been released. So can we end this the show can. with one of those? Yes, of course. You got that, Mark? You won't forget. He won't forget. I'll send you the MP3. Do you? Um, is there a music video? Uh, yes, of course there is. Yeah. <laughs> what? So we are ending the show with yeah. a music video. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I we did a song called "Cleanse." That was the second song I we could, released. I, I couldn't be more excited. And the rest of the album is sitting on uh, on a hard drive, waiting to do something with. And we got to do something. Do you know it, so. this actor Jocko Sims? You ever heard of him? I don't. He no. what was he, he was on. Um, what was Dennis Hopper's last show? He passed away when they were shooting it. Um, he was on that. He's been he he he's and he was on he's on the last ship, and a bunch of like oh yeah yeah um, yeah okay. and so him and I did a commercial together and we were friends and he's he was really cool and I wanted to start a hip hop group and him and I were gonna start one yeah and then I kind of I sent over some ideas of some lyrics and li when I was back then I was you know I thought that shock comedy was comedy right. Right, and he kind of saw some of these. He's like, "Oh, these are a little too aggressive for me. I don't okay. think you know. I'm kind of a spiritual guy." Da, da, right. da. And I was like, <clears throat> "I should have been like, all right, how about this one?" He gonna be like, "Great." So anyway, but I, I didn't do that. I did one with Steve McKenna. Yeah, and again, this is all gonna come. This is all gonna come to a head at the end. Yeah. So so did we? So basically, John was so. Um, I was trying to think of the the the, the, the correct word. Just genuine and polite and here i am talking about like uh an acting part and i got offered to go do this thing and it was like offered like 10 grand and i didn't want to do it and i was he's like yeah i wouldn't either i'm like you wouldn't do it for 10 grand he's like no i'm like wait what am i missing here why would he why would he why is he turning down 10 grand well, if, oh, he's, yeah. if he's just starting out with the business oh oh okay yeah like, yeah they gotta uh, pay me scale i got a quote I got a quote. Yeah, I'm like, oh, uh, right. you know, it's it. Yeah, no, he's 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 very polite. But so he, I don't know if you so know. you so you guys didn't catch on the entire time. No, I didn't know it. At That's all. good. Well, yeah, so we're focusing on your work, so it wasn't about so like good. it wasn't like a sharing. Like, so what are you up to? What's your latest project? What are you doing? What are you working on? Yeah, and you, and you guys were fantastic. We you were my you were my favorite group to come. And anyone here oh, who's you. listening who was part of another group, sorry. <laughs> Bring fucking cheese and meat. And fresh honey. Never come and, and empty handed. Don't show That's up empty handed to the Lamprey's house. So <laughs> last night I was like, I gotta watch Castle. I'm probably one of the only people that hasn't seen it. So I watch it. To the point where our friend Jackie went to CastleCon? Oh, she did? How many of those were there? Um only a couple. That's okay. impressive. She yeah. went to CastleCon. Wow. And Which they were is in Germany, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so I 
Wait a second. Oh no, we did one here. We okay. did one here, <laughs> and we did one in Germany. Uh, yeah, the Germans love Castle. That's amazing, De Kassel. And but you were obviously dubbed over. No, no, no. We went to Germany. No, I know, but oh, the, yes, people yes, watched yes. it. We have German voices. Yes, we have German voices, French voices. I don't think they do the subtitle thing in most countries. Did you meet your German voice was. I've he never there? met my. No, I, I would love to meet these people. You should have been invited because they actually they they remember you, mm -hmm. and whenever you do other shows, they dub you on those shows too. Yeah, I had a guy that that dubbed me for three sheets, and yeah. what another one maybe. Yeah, and like he was like anything coming up, I'm like. No, you don't. I'm like, no, you got anything? <laughs> you got anything I can dub? I'll, I'll dub for you. I'll dub you. <laughs> but you dub for me. Yeah, I, I think that's it. They, they do. They so keep the same amazing. people so that when they come around, they go, oh, yeah, him. Oh, yeah, come on in. It's a good match that's for so whatever amazing. it is. So my French voice, apparently, I don't know, is, is a good voice for me, my German voice. Yeah, well, I'll, have to, I'll, voice. I'll, I'll check it out. I'll get back to you. I'll let okay. you know. I feel like I have a lot What did you of... think about Castle, though? What did you think? What, what episode did you watch? Okay. Did you watch one episode? I'm, I'm so glad you said Five that. Minutes. I just, I, I didn't want to start in the you beginning. You should have asked me, like, what's a good representative episode? I was going to, <laughs> but I didn't want to admit it. Because there's I like 173 so of them. so fucking embarrassing. I watched the one with Murder in the Hamptons. When oh, the guy crap. fell in the oh, pool, okay. and then you and John were trying to find out who Castle, who the girl you was saw dating. A good one. Okay, so so you, you saw my interrogation scene. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, where where you gets... where you came to a realization, and at the end, you were a gentleman. You were a gentleman about oh, yes. not divulging it. Yes. Now you probably did the next one. So then I googled. Now this is getting very late at night last night. Uh, <laughs> like I need some and I, sleep. What and I, I, no, and I taken I would taken some Advil PM, and I was just like you know, and I was like right, whatever, and I and I googled Juliana to find out one that she was in, mm -hmm. and it's one that there was an explosion. Yeah, uh, it was season six, episode eleven. Yeah, Understood. and yeah. um. And then I fell asleep. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> I, I'm gonna watch it because I want to see her. Oh no, I did Make see Mel I, watch it. Too. I did see it's some good. stuff with with her. Okay. I watched the show and I was like, I don't, I didn't know what to expect. I, I this is completely genuine, and you can ask Mel because I woke up this morning and told her this. I fucking love that show. Oh, thank you. I love it. Thank you. However, you guys felt about Three Sheets, nothing compared to how good this show. So now I'm starting <laughs> the show at the beginning. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. I, it's gonna get weird. It I'm gonna grows. Get, it's, I'm gonna get stalkery. It grows and it changes. No, no, I want to hear your opinions. It's good. <laughs> no, when I'm knocking on your window at four in the morning, hey, hey, Seamus, hey, Seamus what, what happened you, to that one episode? What are you wearing? Hey. Um, um, the one you saw where the interrogation that that gets singled out a lot because I, I I really let that guy have it. Um, yeah, and, and I mean because it was done for comic it purposes. Uh -huh. It was like I wanted to I pound it, know it was pound a, it out of him. When I looked it up yeah. like last night, I'm like, I wonder if it's on Hulu. It is, by the way. It's on Hulu for people listening. If you have not seen this show, just fucking start it and on, watch it. It's on Lifetime too. I think they run it. Well, like, let's say let's say Hulu. Let's say. <laughs> Who gets life? It's no longer just television My audience for women. are not 80 and 90 year olds. I, I, no, you're right. You're right. Who has that? Um, but but that one was done so for, so you, for so comic you, purposes. So you still yeah. get residuals? Yes. I don't increasingly get less, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get... I've, I mean, I've never gotten residuals for mm. any of my hosting gigs, mm. which is sad. Which Why? is sad. People are like, man, you must have made so much money. Nope. Oh, cable Three sheets? stuff. Yeah. $2,500 an episode. Tried to get more. They said, "Ah, oh, we'll go with somebody else." I go, "I'll do it for twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred sounds it, good." It went up, wow, as the season went on. But of course, not to the point. But whatever. But yeah. anyway, I'm so happy. I now have a show. When I, oh, when I googled it or who googled it, that I didn't. Re it said comedy. It's it's a mix. It's like a dramedy. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's a one hour show, so you can't really say that a one hour show is a drama. But it was a mixture of. Of comedy, romance, uh, we, we it was a very flexible show. We it's got to cheeky. do a lot of different yeah. stuff. We, there was, some shows were really action oriented and all the stuff that we did, but most of the time, but mo yes, generally, it's the weirdest thing being on a one hour show compared to all the other one hour shows that I've been on. And in and in one hour show, you're doing scenes, working with people around you, and you go, okay, what's funnier if I do it like this? Or if I do it like that, and you're kind of like you're making comic choices in the middle of a one hour show. You're like, what is going on? What kind of what the hell so kind of show is this? So much fucking fun. fun. Yeah. Fun. Did you shoot uh, everything in LA, or did you ever go on location uh, in other places? We went to Morongo once, <laughs> and that you went to Casino Morongo. Some shows get to go to Hawaii. Yeah. 
Um, Bora Bora. Yeah. Uh, Mexico. We went to Morongo. Yeah. Resort. Now, in, for people that are for listening, a, Morongo. Well, let's use the word resort. Let's kind of make air quotes because this is for one day. This we is, went to Morongo, <laughs> and we made it look like Atlantic City. This is a casino. <laughs> Uh, between uh, L.A. and Palm Springs. Mm-hmm. And if you're driving through, you're like, what the fuck is what that is monstrosity? That, in the that of is nowhere. it. And if you see their ads, their advertisements, people have a lot of fun there. Yeah, they, they do. They young do. people, too. You would imagine that that place is just chock-a-block full of young people. I feel... <laughs> and no scooters at all. And just like all these young people just living it up, having the time of their lives. I think... No consequences to the world. <laughs> Morongo. What, but what is it really? Well, let's not. Let's not, because maybe we'll get them as a sponsor for MacBook. Okay. Yeah, but we don't want to offend but is it kind of like, it's almost like, hey, you're on your way to Vegas. Just come here. Just stay here. No, it's I think fine. the only way to get there is by bus. You get there on a bus. <laughs> that's like where, 20 bucks. From and where? they'll give you, from like where? downtown LA. <laughs> And they'll and you get there to the bus first, and they give you like like twenty dollars in tokens, yeah, so that you can spend when you're at the casino. So 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 it really works out. It's a wash. You get a free bus ride. Is there validity to what you're saying? I think so. Yes, I've 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 heard of this bus that goes from. There from really there is there. a thing. Yes, that's what they do. To you bring get on a bus. In. It's a free bus, and they give you twenty dollars. They give you money to go I there. I think so. Because then you you also bring you'll your own money. You'll spend it, and then you'll spend more money, and then you'll go to the buffet, and then you'll pee your pants on the way home, and you go Veronica. <laughs> Morongo. <laughs> Morongo lives in my heart. Morongo. Morongo. Let's break the word down. So it's Morongo. I want to be like, welcome to Morongo, where yeah. moron go. A, a a Native American word for. Oh great! Now I'm a fucking. Come thanks. here, stupid. Thanks. Thanks for making. Yeah. No, it means to come here. Stupid. Oh, now we're both. Okay, now we're come both. Come here, today. stupid. Now yeah, we we're, both. We're on the same joke. Yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna get banned by the yep. same. people. Yeah, we just got canceled. We got canceled great. by the, the same group but, of people. So yeah, the great. tribe. That's good. No, they seem like lovely people, but yeah, I, that we were there for one day. They seem like lovely. You we, we were there for one remember. day. And the next day, we had to leave um, and uh, finish up shooting, and then go Did back. You, you stayed overnight there. The- we stayed overnight, and then the next, and we shot like half a day the next day, and then we had to go back to our soundstage and shoot some more scenes, like go all the way back two hours back to Hollywood and still film just to make our day. When you <laughs> went from Morongo back to vacation. Hollywood, how did you? How did? How you transported? Uh, I, I drove myself. Oh, you drove. Other okay. people got on a, a bus, but I drove myself to yeah. the studio. So yeah, um, that's but amazing. that's what we had to do. So that's amazing. yeah, you know. So so it wasn't like a vacation or anything. It was like, I did a. This is not competition. You always win this one. But I did a. You, you traveled more than me, so it's okay. That's that's true. Yeah, at least I was paid to travel more. It's true. Um, I went and did when I was doing three sheets. They shot a quote million dollar commercial, and. Rather than paying any of us more, which is one always one of those things, they had me go to Shutters on the beach. It was a yeah. fancy hotel in, in Santa Monica, and yeah. stay overnight there. Then the next morning, which why, um, and then the next morning picked up by a car. Each person was picked up by a different black car, and then by a driver driven out to the salt flats somewhere near probably Simi Valley or something like that. I don't know. Do you know, have you ever been to those ones? Yeah. And, and then they rented out the salt flat for the day. They got each of us a car. Okay. So there was five shows they were trying to like promote, promote at the same time. And so they got each of us, I I was a Range Rover. Someone else was a Bentley. Someone was maybe out of Ferrari, da, da, da. And they shot this, this shot where they were kind of coming like jets in formation. Oh, across the you know the desert and then we all kind of get out and our i was wearing a tuxedo with a with a un, untied tie and whatever and then they shot photos and did videos about this whole big thing from mojo and all this kind of shit helicopter mm. tracking shots and like we each had our own trailer out there and then driven back in these same cars that were waiting the entire time and had stunt driver i couldn't even drive the car they had someone Wearing the same outfit as me, that kind of looked like me driving the car as a stunt driver, just driving in a straight line at sixty miles an hour in formation, because you no Zane, you can't do that. So, so sorry, know, sorry, regulations, whatever. We don't think you can drive at freeway speeds. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, on a salt flat. <laughs> so like, and I couldn't. So I wasn't even allowed to even drive anywhere in the salt flat. I had to sit in my trailer. It was a hot. It was the weirdest thing. But it was like this million. I, oh, I don't know how much they actually spent, but. They were saying it's a million dollar commercial to promote the brand or whatever. Wow. And I, I didn't get paid for it. But then they, but they put me, if you know where I live now, 
uh, I'm halfway to Simi Valley. For me to go to Shutters went, in Santa Monica yeah. and stay overnight there and yeah. wake up early, I could have slept an hour later and whatever. So yeah. Anyway, did that all that money go to cocaine? I mean, I'm just wondering <laughs> yeah, when they, it, just, they sprinkled it. They sprinkled it. They where said it was it sand. Yeah. The energy was amazing. It was on that amazing. Shirt. Wow. Oh my god. We just like to party here at Mojo, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And Make you're sure sitting you in there, and I was. Time. So there was these guys. Um, <laughs> there was two gamblers, um, Phil Locke and Antonio Esfandieri, the Unabomber, and then I, I don't know what Phil, what uh, Antonio's name, but like they in their trailer, they had three laptops each. This was a requirement that they needed a satellite uplink to be able to be online, and they were each playing three games of poker the entire time we were doing it. Hmm. That was like crazy. Wow. Because they're professional poker players. But like, you can't take a day off and just relax. It was so weird. It was like at a... But that was their that was their. I mean, when, their you, when you want to make your addiction your job, I guess, <laughs> I guess that's... It's... Sort of something, and, that and I guess they're doing well. It but could be good. You know, um, I'm sure okay. they spend a lot of times with their families. So uh, yeah. I feel a little bit better. Okay. Um, what other confessions do you need to get off your chest? Um, I think that was confession. that was kind of that was kind. Oh, another one. Confession. Confessions. Confession. This is my confession. confession. I don't know the rest. Of, I don't know the rest of the song. I had you on a show called Nightcap. Yes. For a channel called Drink TV. Yes. Now this isn't really my confession, but. Um, we were doing that and we shot it and the idea was sit at a bar, have a drink. The bartender made us something fun and then we did like a challenge. What did we do afterwards? We played a game. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't remember this? Maybe that's the confession is that you're hiding who lost at distance for sabering wow. a champagne bottle. Wow. Sabering a champagne bottle. I don't bottle. remember that. Yeah. You, you, you no probably, evidence. You, you, <laughs> no evidence. <laughs> <laughs> the hard drives have been scrubbed. There's no evidence of any of, of, of you beating me. Of you beating. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. So, so, so the idea was go to a local bar with a celebrity, Seamus Dever. In quotes. Uh, nope, I can't. I can't do it because your show is amazing. You can do it for me because I was on no, channel 512. You're verified on on Twitter, so you're. Fine. <laughs> you're Thank fine. you. Thank you. The blue check mark means Thank you. all the difference. So is my veterinarian. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> the uh, as a veterinarian, you are you are confirmed. Um, so the um, yeah. So the, the idea, the premise of the show was that I would have sit at a bar with somebody. We would have a talk over a drink. Then I think I would throw to a comedian. We we're going to have a comedian do ten minutes in every episode. Yeah. Then come back, and then me and the guest, the guest and myself, uh, would do a a physical challenge yes so i had my friend jessica hall she loves cornhole we played cornhole with you and i we did sabering because i hold the world record in sabering actually i did some guy just beat me but i did for a really? while 31 bottles a in a minute excuse me world champion sabruce sabruce um there was there was these guys in. Uh, this is. I'm gonna remind me to come back to this. There's okay. these guys that I met in Cognac, and we were doing a scene, and these guys had a band, and they were based out of Cognac, and they did a lot of wine events and stuff like that, and they needed a. Um, it's trash day. Did you well, take out your cans? Well, it is trash day, but here's the thing. Should we pause? Did you take out your cans? No, I did take out my cans, but I think the blue cans were already picked up. The guy that picks up my blue cans. His name's Nate. He's got a. He's How got do a. You know the name of your. He's got a rap album. You don't. I don't. They, because they took the time. They I come and go. Because no, this guy doesn't, and he always waves at me, and he's so cool, and he's got a rap album, and his name's Nate Smooth, and Good. now I go out and talk to him. He, he gets out. We just talk for a little bit. Because sometimes I got a shit ton because we get donations yeah. and stuff of of cardboard, <clears throat> and he'll like. Most guys saw the Amazon drive by. packages, so you probably have to break down cardboard all the time. Crazy. And sometimes I have a stack. He'll get out and he'll throw it in there. So I okay. give him a Christmas present. Sometimes I just give. Oh. Sometimes I'll just give him a Starbucks card just to be nice. Yeah. So I, he wants to come to my my I'm, one of my. I'm doing a show out in Redlands, which, which is where he lives. And so I emailed him, but he didn't email, email me back. So I needed to run out there to make sure that he got my email. But he's not. That's the blue cans already picked up. I missed the blue him. Cans. He came. I missed him today. And he's he's dodging you, Nate. That's what it is. It was a good show. You know what? He's probably there. I'm going to try to find him. I'll, I'll check my... Maybe... No. Nate, come to Redlands. I'm going to have to call the recycling bureau and get his cell phone number. I'm you gonna, think they'll do that? I'm going to do it. They'll do that. What's his name? 
Uh, Nate S M O O V E. Nate, Nate Smooth. Nate Smooth. Nate Smooth. Um, oh yeah, he's one of your drivers. Check under S. That's under cool. Smooth. If you give me his uh, phone number, right? Maybe check under Smooth. Maybe, maybe it's Smooth. Smooth. Maybe Smooth. Can you give him my number? V. Smooth. Maybe pass it on. Just say it says that Just Zane him, really hopes Zane, you can make the show. Yeah, you can make the show. Great. Check your email. Redlands. Check your email. They have really tonight. good apples out there. They no. have apple orchards out there. Did you, did you know that? No, they don't. Redlands? Yes, they do. Stop it. They have. They, yes. What are you talking about? It's the desert. No, no, it's the hills. Redlands goes whoop, up into the hills. Is that it why might, it's called Redlands? Because I don't they have apples? think so, although now I don't know. Jeez, now I question a lot this? of things. How do you know this I have a friend who also lives out in Redlands, and he uh, As an he's orchard? a musician. No, he plays. He's in a band, and they played oh like an apple festival up there. So they, they grow apples up in those hills. Your friend has an apple farm? No, no, no. An he's, orchard? He's, he's in a band, and they play a lot of places, and there is, there's apple orchards up there. And they have, you know, kind of like, here's the barn, and, and everyone, it's like, it's our down-home version of Kay. Colonial Williamsburg or whatever, <laughs> right? You know, it's no, that kind I of No, I don't thing. know what you're talking about! They have it up in the hills. Our version of Colonial really William- nice. Williamsburg is Alvera Street in downtown LA, which <laughs> okay. is the first street. That's fair. Okay. That's fair. It's our, I don't know, it's a it's a very down-home barney kind of version. Brother? I had I'm going ch- to be there in, I'm going to be there in They had years. all those places back in Michigan I'm going to check it out where there's like there's like cider mills and they, I don't know how they're growing they apples go apple picking with your family and have a very wholesome American it experience doesn't ever rain out there I, Yeah you would think yeah how do they get the rain I'm maybe there's enough out. moisture that goes there okay I'll, I'll figure it out Okay apples I swear uh, so I, I'm not making this up When I was doing the show when you when you did the show for mm-hmm. me uh, as a favor to me uh, to, to the, the nightcap show I didn't know at that point that they the, the network had already been canceled and the guys that were running it not the guys that were getting the funding were trying to shoot a few things to like save it. And uh, so so that episode we shot never aired. Hmm. So so no one no one gets to know that you lost to me in the I'll see if I can sabering. So I'll see if I can't salvage that. See, I was trying to keep it a secret from Julie cuz when it aired I wanted I wanted her to go Savory? That's what she sounds like. Yeah, roar, like kind of like a muppet, <laughs> like a really slow muppet. Um, so, the, so you never, so she doesn't so know. She yet? never, she doesn't know. I kept it a secret. And you kept it a secret until you forgot about it. Until I forgot about it. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, by the way, all the way, I did this great show oh, that I don't say. know. Drink TV. Ah, uh, you're never gonna see. It. Um, that was fun. It, regardless, and I'm sorry it never aired. Regardless, the drinks I'm, were wonderful. I'm sorry. It never Lano aired. is a is a lovely place. Lano, my good friends. Zach and Austin, A to Z, uh, lost that place in the COVID. pandemic. They couldn't. They just. They couldn't. Pay. I bet it, the rent. There it was, was absurd. Exactly. It was on Hollywood Boulevard. It was yeah. a big, beautiful place. The atrium and back. They couldn't. Yeah, they couldn't do it. No, so it now sucks. they have a place called Melrose Umbrella Company on Melrose. Yeah. And by the way, Austin Melrose is his last name, mm-hmm. and Zach Patterson. Um, but they are dope fellas. They have a great bar. I would bring everybody. I would do every meeting at Lono. Yeah. Because one of them was always there, and they were the best hosts. Yeah. And whenever I had like a deal or I was pitching somebody something, I had to meet there, and they're just like, "Wow, this place is amazing," and they seem to love you. And so, anyway, um, so okay, so we, so we got that. That's a confession. That's another confession. Uh, that's another one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other one is it's piling up now. Well, this isn't a confession, but you and your wife Jules have. <laughs> she told me I could call her Jules. Yeah. Okay. Uh, professionally, Juliana. Um, the you guys have seen my show three times. We have. You saw three, two, no three, no, two, two, three point one, three point one. Yeah, three point one. Because <laughs> you, because you you heard it out here. Yeah. When I was still reading it off of paper. Oh yeah, yeah. Then you came to uh, San Luis Obispo. San Luis Obispo. Yeah. And then you came to Holly- Hollywood. Hollywood. Yep. Which was my roughest show, but I don't. Th- I think you said you didn't. Know I think that. it was great. I everyone was really loose and extended. You. It was great. I, I, I liked it. The audience was great. I the, I invited too many people that I wanted to impress, person <laughs> company included. And I was like, I really want to do a good job, and I couldn't get that out of my head. And then I had a drink. I, I relaxed, but like you can't you can't control any of these things. It's no, like, no, it was it, all in, it was it's all the internal. old thing that like you're like, oh my god, that was so terrible, and someone comes up, that was the best, and you're like. You like you like no. Let me argue with you about how shitty I was. I, I used to do that. You can't and I'm done. do it. Yeah, you I know. can't do it. You I have know. to let it ride and go. Whatever. Yeah, you're you perceived you're, it a different you, way. You don't know comedy. I think less of you now. That's a, <laughs> don't come you, to my shows. But you shows. see that mentally. In here, yeah, you keep it like wow. You exactly. really have bad taste, and, and it's in my head because I was terrible. And the point one was when I was in St. Louis <laughs> last week, 
And you're like, hey, I'm in St. Louis. I'm like, why the fuck are you in St. Louis? Visiting Jules's mom, mm-hmm. uh, Patty. Mm-hmm. And uh, she, you guys didn't feel comfortable, COVID, whatever, bringing her to the show. So I went and met you guys for coffee. Yes. And I talked about the show. That's a point one. That's you still one. get you still yeah. get credit for it. Yes. And so I wish now, we could have gone. Patricia was just a bit uh, um, immunocompromised. Exactly. So we were we were worried about the group. Yeah. The group and everything. And, and I we, didn't. She would have loved. And I didn't you, infect her with you, anything. You, was she you, fine you, after she I was left? Absolutely fine. She's okay. doing great. And because I because so I energized her. Super jazzed to meet you. So she she's talked about it for forever. God. So yeah. No no no. It, you made so you amazing. made her weak. So thanks for meeting us at the Starbucks. Is that still like? Does it still throw you? I don't know if you're more used to it than I am. When you meet someone and they go, they go, go, they go like they're excited and they're like they're excited to meet you and you're just like I, I'm just whoa, you know, whatever. No, because you know you never. I again with the thing of like, you know, you can't be too cool for these things because you you kind of go, wow, I I may have really just made someone's experience and I I want it I want that experience to be great for them because if the shoe were on the other foot with the people who who I've been excited uh-huh. about meeting, um, such as yourself. Uh, yeah. I would, I want it, I would want it to be a good experience. I'm like, yeah, all right, good, nice to meet you. <laughs> like, like you're looking for the door well, as soon as possible. First of all, cool. you don't, you, you some, don't, you don't, you and I both don't have that. I yeah. touched your hand. <laughs> you know, let's do, no, let's and, do, and let's do and you, you want to leave them with that that good experience because it that crap sticks with you. So like next time you see them, you, they're like, yeah, oh, but he was kind of a dick. But I have you know? no doubt so. that you and I, like every time I meet someone, I I am grateful for that. But are you ever just like. Is kind of like taken aback. You're like, I'm not that cool. I have to. Yeah. Well, no. It's still. It's still. It's very flattering. It's a. Yeah, you left a very go. flattering thing. Yeah. I tell you the thing that's the weirdest mm. is is the fact that you have to always mind your p's and q's mm. when you're out in public because you don't know who's going to know you. Um, yes. I was at this acai bowl place. Um, uh, meeting a friend. Uh, I think you said acai. Acai. Bowl. I was at an acai bowl. Yeah. Is that how you pronounce it? How do you pronounce it? No one's ever pronounced just, it. Just Probably slowly than acai? what you did. You said acai. Like, I thought acai bowl. That sounds like a cool like acai. sushi place. Acai. 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 Acai bowl. Yeah. Two separate words. Acai bowl. Acai. Acai. I was an acai bowl. What? <laughs> I thought you were talking about a new, like a new cool Whoa. Asian fusion place. No, no. You guys have been to a, you guys have been to a, 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 a cybol? A si- have you been to a cybol? It's fantastic. This is a, they're, too, too they're expensive great. for me. Oh, God. Okay. Flashback. To... You are an acai. Acai bowl. Great. God, you have to pause in between I'm, I'm that with or you. it doesn't yeah. make any sense. Well, certain words. So <laughs> this was an, a favorite acai bowl yeah. place um, uh, of, of a friend of mine. And um, we were sitting there having a meeting. And uh, we were ordering. I've never ordered. I, I felt like out of my element. Like, what is this cold fruit that I'm about to eat a yeah. lot of? This is strange. Why am I yeah. eating so much cold fruit? Yeah. Um, but whatever. It's supposed to be good for me and all the antioxidants and everything. Uh, and and so I I'm, I'm ordering and I I wait for my order of uh, uh, and I I was like okay I'm waiting for the total and this and this uh, the the woman behind the counter gets really quiet around me and 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 I'm like. Um, and I'm waiting for her to give me my number or my or to my receipt or something. Yeah. And she's just and she's just quiet and walking away. I'm just like, I'm like, how do I know where to? I this is my first time. Here. I how do I? And she's just she's just like walking away. And I thought she was rude, right? And I'm like, what the fuck is going on with Did this? You, I want to punch her. No, uh, no, no, I didn't. But I'm just like, <laughs> this is really odd. Like when you meet awkward yeah. people, and you're like, you know, there's a way to do that. Yeah. Where you can just look me in the eyes mm-hmm. and say, "Here you go, sir. Thank you." Yeah. Um. This is pre-COVID, so there's, there's you know, we're yeah. still facing people yeah. and eyes there's and no mouth and face. You. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so and so she's not she's not doing this thing, and I'm and I'm like, God damn, these people are really rude here. Yeah. I'm never coming back to this acai bowl place again. Yeah. yeah. And 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 it turns out, and then she like waits, and I like I'm like, okay, I guess she'll let me know. The place is crowded. Like, how's she gonna know it's me or whatever? Um, when she calls out my weird cold fruit order, and um, and then later, uh, and then later she does, and and she comes up and she's like looking down here. You go, and she looks up and she looks. Up. I just have to say, I'm the biggest fan. This is my favorite show, Castle. I love Castle. It's my favorite show ever. And she's shaking. She's nervous, and uh-huh. I'm like, oh, uh-huh. she wasn't being rude. She was nervous. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. She can't. You're the asshole in this scenario. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't react but, on it. Of course, like, she so never it was, sensed it. Of course, it's she just never internal, sensed yeah. it. But like, I have to, you know, I constantly have things like that where I, I remember, you know, give people a break and benefit of doubt. Yeah, because that they, they you don't know they you they might know who you are and they might be nervous or, or mm-hmm. whatever it might be. Um, we were at the AT and T store with my 97 uh, year old grandmother. 
uh, last week in uh, my mother or my my wife's grandmother uh, at in in um, Missouri mm-hmm. and it's Missouri, but go Miz- ahead. Missouri. But depends but, on what part of state you're in. But continue. Depends on what part of state. <laughs> um, apparently, it's been told to me by my wife. Um, every, in St. Louis, it's Missouri. Yeah. Everywhere else in the state, it's Missouri. Um, That's what I was told. And so, so we were in there, and you know, I'm 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 very patient because you know, a 97 year old woman, and then my my mother in law Patricia will probably hear this comes in here comes in there as well and she's she's 75 and so we're we're dealing with technology you, you see where i'm going here mm-hmm. with technology and 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 uh, uh septuagenarians and nonagenarians wow and we're we're dealing with all this stuff and and they're being very patient and then the guy behind the counter we're all wearing masks he he's the guy who's helping us with like the store manager he's like you don't ever tell you you look like a guy from castle um and i'm like i'm like wow well, how did you I'm, I'm half of my face is covered how did you oh, just wow. recognize me by my eyes yeah and he's like, I was like, yeah, that is me. He's like, oh my god, bigger. And all of a sudden, it became a big deal. All everyone's a Castle fan in the store, and we got really good patient service. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, <laughs> for, for my 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 wife's grandmother and my mother in law. Yeah, you know, they were very patient. They walked everything through and everything, and, and gave us a couple bucks off on 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 a, a case or something. I wish like I was that. on a real network so I could feel that. <laughs> yeah, well, when you get a discount at the AT and T store, there's a few benefits. <laughs> <laughs> Discounts at AT and T stores, are. good customer service. I've I've, ha- I've had it, and people usually tell me like at the end. And what mine is, mine is walk into a, a brewery. This is not where I'm, I'm performing. Just walk into a craft brewery, uh-huh. and I, I never assume anyone knows who I am. That's my. I I never even think about that. And then at the end, you know, get the check, or check or whatever it is, or like. Now someone's but he's over there and he's kind of had a beer because he's kind of like wants to get the courage to come up and right, say something. Right. And then he'll come up and then someone else will come up. Like this has happened to me where I'm about to leave and then t- a person from two different tables come up and like oh, I just wanted to see I love your show can I get a picture or whatever. I'm like yeah, absolutely like don't ever yeah hesitate to ask me that. No you know? no yeah. here here's is the thing does the person come and say hi to you first and gets the ball rolling and yeah so you, all of a sudden you're taking a picture then everyone's like oh that's someone famous and then it becomes I should, like I should. Know him. It becomes How do a I know? snowball. There's that, an like, app. Just, you're like you're like oh my god. It's oh yeah it is. Oh, da, da. And it, it just becomes a thing. If you don't know like poison ivy or poison oak, you're not sure. Ah. There's an app. You can take a picture of the leaf. Uh huh. And the app will tell you what that is. Yes. They should have that for like celebrities. Or well, you celebrity, me yeah. like or people celebrity. <laughs> People, people in the world, just I don't people, know. people no. that maybe I should know. People, people with over we, fifty thousand Instagram. No, followers. the the the. But I mean, I mean the, and the, hold the, the phone to me. Are you comfortable with the the thing of celebrity? It's a weird term because I don't consider myself a celebrity. I consider myself an actor who I've been on stuff that people might know. So it's weird. I never say. I think a, like I never say a fan of mine. I yeah. say a fan of the show. I say celebrity when I want to make a joke about it, You're right? Or when I want to brag and like fake brag, um, or I I. I you know, yeah. pretend that I'm someone I'm not um, to my parents or whatever. It's like, your son's a celebrity. I'm I've, sorry. If I'm like on the, I'm on a plane and some woman, someone like came and said hi. I hate as, the as they walked them. by and she's like, oh, are you an actor? I'm like, um, I, I mean, yeah, host I mean, a comedian or whatever. Yeah, she's yeah. like, oh, are you, a, are you famous? Are you a celebrity? No, I'm not. Oh, what's your name? And then she'll like, this is happening before. She's like, oh, I'm going to text my, what's your name? Oh, I want to text okay. my son. Da, 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 da. My oh, no, she's never heard of you. Hold on. And then she's like, <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait, his friend has. I'm like, oh, my God. She's like, what else have you done? I'm like, oh, I don't, this is turning into me like uh, having to justify something that it's I'm so not. It's so gross, what isn't it? it? You're yeah. like, tell you what, I'm just going to send you my resume. Yeah, yeah. Do you, you read a PDF I, on that? You know, okay, okay. I think I'm supposed Here to be, it is. I think I'm supposed to be back in coach. It's the grossest feeling because you just, oh, a bunch of stuff. It's rare. And, and by the way, it's a like, bunch of stuff. If, that is, if that is the downfall, we'll fucking take it. Um. So I want to plug really quick what your your wife's taking people on on trips tours yeah of clever dever wherever adventures clever dever wherever adventures adventures dot com um I'm pretty sure she's clever dever clever dever dot clever dever wherever dot com let me let me mm-hmm. let me verify Ed, that edit point get that wrong. maybe we'll see clever dever uh, wherever clever cleaver Cle- Cle- cleaver dever <laughs> dever cleaver er? where Ever. Dever. I, oh, I want to say something about... So, cleverdeverwherever.com. I got it right. Yes. Um, she, yes, is taking uh, taking people to amazing places. She's focusing on former Cold War countries. Mm-hmm. 
um, such as the country of Georgia, the Republic yeah. of Georgia, uh, Poland, and Slovenia, and other right places now. that touch the Ukraine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's becoming a. It's thing. a weird time, right? It's now. a weird time because yeah. and and so so Julie has it wasn't never... years ago. People people will tell you yeah. that Georgian wines now the, the country not not, not the the state like they make great wines and they're great people and their food and all this kind of the stuff. Food. So she's kind of introducing people yep. to like you know these Eastern Bloc countries, so yeah. to speak, that that people wouldn't think to go to and showing like oh wow these pl- like i've been to some of these you're like uh yeah. wow, wow this is little amazing. gems little gems. people don't think that they'll they'll everybody goes to italy everybody goes to france exactly but 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 julie's never been the kind of person that says like well i'm just going to lead another tour to amsterdam yeah. it's like and and those places are so overcrowded anyway that like why don't we put the shine on some places that don't get this shine yeah and we show what a amazing cultural experience it is what amazing people what amazing food what amazing drink yeah. is there so that's that's her whole thing and so with that you have to dig a little bit deeper and she's sort of trying to get a niche on this whole thing she got it um yeah she did and i, I want to say yeah. something that's kind of fun and so so anyway go to cleverdeverwherever.com you can you can read about it check out um, our tours it's amazing can guys go or is it just a ladies trip guys can go it tends to be ladies who are attracted to this sort of thing yeah Women. Mel wants to go so bad. She should go. I know. Mel, you she should go, honey. Slovenia. <laughs> she's so true. She <laughs> wants to go. She Every time Juliana p- posts them, she's like, oh my God, these ladies look so much fun. I want to go. They have such a good time and all the women end up going. It's not just for, for women, but it tends to be women that, that get attracted to yeah. her tours. And uh, and they make really good friends with each other. And they eat amazing. And then they want to go to- drink amazing. And then here's and the thing. So much fun. Those women book this book her next tour right. all, so they can travel all together again. Look, who, look who's working she her way puts, in here. She puts hey, Mel, good groups up? together. Uh, you can just tell by the pictures and the videos right? that those people are the kind of people that stay friends like continually. Yes. Forever. Yeah. And yes. Are you? Do you know you're on camera? She curates. I'm just kidding. You're not. You're not. Well, <laughs> Julie. Mouth. Julie also curates them so that like I, she wants to make sure people have a good experience. So she has a questionnaire and she kind of filters some people out that might oh, be a bit it. of a bummer. Wouldn't be right. Yeah. Yeah. I want to tell Mel. I think maybe I told you this, but uh, when I went to meet uh, you guys in St. Louis last week, yes, um, and your mother-in-law Patty was there and she's mm-hmm. amazing, and I did this thing which I thought would be funny. Um, I said, you have to tell me, like, tell me something embarrassing about, about Jules. And if you ask my mom this, how much time do you have? All these stupid things that I did, getting in trouble, just, just stupid shit that I did when I was younger and probably continue to do. And the worst thing that, 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 that. What did she say? I, I'll tell you what she said. Yeah. She goes, well, there's this one thing. I'm like, okay, give me some juice, whatever. Cause, 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 cause Jules was like. Straight A student. She was on the honor roll. She was president of the fucking country at the time. I don't know. She was like right. all these like all these outgoing, amazing things. An amazing daughter, and and she's like, well, one time I heard her playing violin upstairs, and she's playing really well. And I went upstairs and opened it up. She wasn't playing violin. She was reading a book, listening to a recording that she made of herself playing the violin. I'm like, that's it. <laughs> that's the dirty. You have. And and by the way, I had never heard that story. <laughs> And I was like, why in the deeper yeah. recesses of your mind did you pull that story out? That's the out? worst. That's the worst that's thing. The ever, worst. That's the first thing that came to mind. Yeah. It's like it's like the association game where you just get, give me give me the first word that comes in. Like, oh, Julie's my God. bad. Well, yeah. violin. I was like, that's it? Uh, you want to know? My, here, here's just one random of mine. My buddy, I, I, I had gone to A&W Root Beer and I had gone and I took, I took the glass mug. Okay. Ooh. They bring it out on a yeah. tray. I yeah. took the mug and I hid it and I kept it because I wanted it. And cool. it was on my desk. Yeah. I kept pens in it. It was cool. Da, da, da. That was like the worst thing. Yeah. So then I went back. I told my buddies about it. And, and so we went there. I mean, we're all going to steal these mugs. <laughs> Not smart. Stupid to begin with. So then we're there. And I, my buddy, he's got a Ford Taurus. This is like senior year of high school. And they, they have the windows slightly up and they have an orange tray. They come and hook. And they bring you your fries and their burgers and they bring you your, your root beer. Yes. And then when you're done, I don't know if you yell, press the buzzer or whatever, and they come and get it. And so we got all these things, trays on the window with all the food. And I'm like, he's like, so what do we do? I'm like, yeah, you just just take the mug. He's like, take them? And I'm like, yeah. My buddy puts it in reverse, pulls out of the parking lot with the tray on the window. Oh, with the tray on the window. It flies off. Now this person in this Audi, I don't know where I remember this, this guy in this Audi chases us. And now my buddy is speeding down the freeway to try to get away from this Audi, okay? 
Like, and by the way, like, and like, what? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? It's a fucking whatever. So then we get home. I don't know if we went directly home, whatever. We get home, and there is now a warrant out for each of our arrests. Not just the guy driving the car, but all of us. What the fuck? Wow. So we have to go to the police station. And this guy, Yankee Warner, is, is the owner of a Root Beer. This is fucking 35 years ago. He's the owner of a Root Beer, or 30-some years ago. And of, of that particular franchise, he's, he wants to press charges. And so, so that we, get, wow. we get fingerprinted, we get mug shots, mug shots, and then we get put in, in jail as the cops are kind of giggling and our yeah. parents are sitting outside waiting because they all drove us like, what's going on? Yeah. So then my buddy, who, my buddy who was driving the car, his dad's... Uh, a radiologist, fancy guy, golfs with this lawyer, and he and he's like, my uh, this guy's taking care of this lawyer. Don't, you're all set. Don't worry about it. Okay, great. So we show up to a court date. The the lawyer shows up an hour and a half late with a sunburn because he was golfing. Walks up to the judge, hands him a piece of paper. Goes, all right, you guys, keep your nose out of trouble, and then you, you guys are good. In, in six months, they'll be taken off your record. Great. We leave. We're like, ha, ah, we beat the system. Then I get a bill. For fifteen hundred dollars, thirty years ago, fifteen hundred dollars oh, yeah. for this guy to do what he did, and I call up my friends. I'm like, "Did you guys pay?" Like, "Yeah, we didn't know do that." And I talk, tell my mom, she's like, "I'm not paying this." Yeah, you can pay it. I'm like, "I don't I have money." Do this, yeah. And so I call the lawyer. I'm like, "Hey, man, like, I didn't, I like, I didn't agree this with you. I appreciate you helping me out, but I thought it was being taken care of." Right. He's like, "When you have the money, just pay me. You're fine." And so I haven't quite gotten the money together yet. <laughs> and so, and then for Are that- you waiting for the guy to die? And they're like, oh, I had it. Just and, a- and that Christmas, wow. what does my dad give me is my only gift. A fucking A&W root beer mug. He's like, you could have just asked me. It's <laughs> like, you could have asked me what he got in your mug. Great. Great. So that's so that's just one of my stupid stories. Your dad sounds and, awesome. And, and, and I told you, I told you my not even worst one I could tell you about. I got kicked out of college for smoking pot. We'll talk about another. Wow. That's another. And wow. then I got kicked back in. But but apparently Julie was playing violin and reading. <laughs> I mean, these things really stack up when you consider them the equal. But it's deceptive. Things, so it's yeah. deceptive to make your mom think that you're playing the violin so when you really were, but that you were up there practicing and you're sneaking off she reading your probably appreciate being lied to. Like <laughs> I feel like that's what the whole thing it was about. Yeah. Exactly How dare you, Julie? How I dare love you. it. Oh my god! Um, yeah, that was that was an interesting thing that she came up with. I yeah, don't, I don't know that, and that was it. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Do you want to just end this with with yours? Do you want to confess something? Like when you were growing up? Oof. Yeah, I'll tell a good story. Okay. Um, <clears throat> finally, oh, finally, finally, a good one. Um, so I just went to uh, so my my favorite teacher from high school just retired. Okay. Um, and uh, on Saturday we went. Uh, I went back to Arizona and. Uh, we had a, a retirement uh, get together, sort of a ceremony. He was he was very cautious about not calling it a ceremony. So it was okay. a get together. So I got to see a bunch of my old teachers and a, a bunch of um, classmates that I had. Um, my parents were teachers at this high school, so oh, my parents it. knew all the teachers. So everybody asked about my parents and how they're doing and everything. So how are um, they doing? Um, they're doing good, thank great, you. Good. Uh, they're in Wisconsin and uh, they're adjusting they're, to they're the winter. Great. Oh, um, and they're, they're doing all right. And um, so, so this is something, here's a story, a high, sc- high school story. And I, I had never brought it up with this. I mean, this is my favorite teacher. And I, 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 every time I go back to Arizona, I spend time with him and his wife. Um, his, his wife's a, a veterinarian. Um, she's super cool. And they travel, they're well-traveled. For some reason, they live in Bullhead City, Arizona. But then they do these biking things um, in Europe uh, every, every summer. So that they do bike vacations. How old are they? Um, they're in their late 60s now. Okay. Early and late sixties. Got it. So, um, so I'd never told him this story, and this is the right when I got my car. Mm-hmm. Um, and I so I, I went up there in front of him, and I was like, I was like, I need to confirm something. Okay, so I'm telling everybody out there. I was like, here's a story about something that happened. Kevin Green, you know, my my favorite teacher. I'm allowed to call him Kevin now. Oh wow. But Mr. Green, back in the day, um, I first got my my car. I was 16 years old, and I had a 1980 Chevrolet Chevette, and it was my my very first car, and I. I was doing something, you know, when you grow up in the desert, you do you do some illegal things. You're kind of like, well, there's dirt there. I'll just turn there. You know, that kind of thing. There's not, yeah. it's not really set up to, to be the way the, it is. The statute of limitations is, you're good. Yeah, you're, you're good fine. On, you're you're good kind of like, things. all right. Yeah. Um, 
So, so I was going to take a left-hand turn on this one thing. We were going into this liquor store to get some Mountain Dew, probably. We drank a lot of Mountain Dew. We were good kids. Um, we drank a lot of Mountain Dew, which maybe isn't so good. Um, but but I, was, I was going to make a left, and uh, there was a light there. And I was like, I'm just, it's right there. I'm going to go into the dirt and go, in, and go into this way. So I, I started going, um, and, and a car was coming at me. And I'm like, hey! And, like, and I honked at this car for coming at me. The, the car was on the right of way. I was doing illegal things. Okay. Like this car was right there. I was like, well, honk, well, honk. You had a lot of Mountain Dew, so. I, had a lot, I was yeah. jacked up on Mountain yeah, Dew. Yeah, it's fine. Um, we were probably heading to rehearsal at the theater or something like that, so we were in a hurry. Whatever. Um, and, and so the car's coming at me. I honk, and then as I pass by, I'm, like, I'm ready to yell at this person. I yell, like, hey, asshole! Um, and, and I passed, and as we crossed, it was my favorite teacher who I just called an asshole. And and I I was like, oh no! I just called Mr. Green an asshole. Um, like and 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 he knows he knows my parents. Oh my God! He's gonna tell them everything. I'm gonna get my car taken away for driving like an like a jerk. And, yeah, because he didn't do anything. And, wrong. and he did, no, he was doing everything right. And I was just being a jerk, <laughs> just being an entitled 16 year old kid. Oh God! Um, and so I'm just I'm terrified the entire night. Um, and wondering, I didn't tell my parents what was going on. I'm like, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm in such trouble tomorrow. Um, but it was, it wasn't like we were at school or whatever. So what, what would he possibly have done? Mm -hmm. Probably just tell my parents mm -hmm. and all that. Um, anyway, so we get to school the next day. We had been reading and this is perfect. Mr. Green, like everything had a literary bent to it. He was using literature to teach his life lessons. Mm -hmm. He was, he was the best teacher. Um, and we were just reading the Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you remember the Scarlet Letter, she wears an A for adultery. Mm -hmm. um, he had cut out an A and tied it with some string and said, Seamus, now here's your punishment. Uh, I would like you to wear this for the rest of the day. So my punishment was to wear an A around my, my, uh -huh. my neck. Uh -huh. And on it, it said, Automaniac. <laughs> but because he was Mr. Green and clever... Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure the A was for asshole. And so, I had so to he walk did, around. he did know it was you. He did. Oh, I was hoping oh, he, he knew. didn't know, oh, but he, he didn't knew. Know. No, oh, he knew. You can't God. hide in a small town. Did you, know? you? Well, I don't know if it was dark and you can't, No, whatever. it was broad daylight. You can't, you can't hide and everyone knows you or your parents in these, t in these places. So, so yeah, so I, I, I made sure to ask him if that was what asshole, if it was for asshole. And? Yes, of course. It was. <laughs> he was just being clever. He couldn't oh, say that. So he made up automaniac instead. So. And, and like, what did you do? Did you apologize profusely Absolutely. Back then? Absolutely. I said, I'm so sorry for driving like a, a jerk. I, I apologize. Well, a, a jerk? I uh, like an asshole, <laughs> and uh, and he let me know, but he he made sure to 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 meet out some punishment for me. So, oh yeah. god, so that's a good confession there. That is uh, so yeah, perfect. What what, an, what what a fucking cool teacher. Ah, so great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is our confession. Confession. Here, here, here's my last confession. Yes, it's not only a confession; it's kind of a revelation. But look, I, I look forward. I don't really look back. I'm 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 happy where I am. I have the most amazing. Uh, wife in the world. You have this second most amazing wife, which which is great. <laughs> um, you do, and and so I don't really look back because I I don't I don't really have um I don't have regrets. But if I look back and just go like, here's the thing, like I'm having this 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 issue with Steve, because Steve has kind of been my co-host and my best friend and whatever, but he doesn't really add a lot. <laughs> He doesn't really come up with any ideas. He's a sounding board and a test pilot. He's test not pilot. really a sounding board. He doesn't take my advice. He still, he still makes just dumb decisions, but I love him to death because he's a great person, but he still just does things, and I go like, why? Like, not to his face. I'll say to Mel, like, why am I friends with him? Like, what is it that he, you know, like, why did you do that? I won't, I won't give, like, examples. I'll do that on stage. Um, but, like, I'm just like, you know, like he's never been collaborative, but I just think, man, if if you and I like were out here 15 years ago and collaborating, the amazing things we would have created. So now, mm. now we're going to, A, we're going to start collaborating. Okay. You don't know this yet. No, I'm tasked with thinking and, about and And then, and then I am putting you up for the role of best friend. Okay. There's going to be some tasks, <laughs> some things. Some you've, challenges. You've already passed most of A them. A crucible of death. This is this is I'm I'm a, now I'm a huge fan. I was before. I'm a fan on so many levels. I'm a fan of everything except for the way you pronounce Asayibo. I'm gonna work on it. Work on it. Work on it. <laughs> uh, Shane, Zane, I'm the fan. I'm Shane the fan. Dever. Um, and then I'm, 
after this, I'm going to talk about him when he's not here. Seamus Dever is awesome. Uh, after we finished this podcast, we st- we stayed and talked for another hour, which is sometimes interesting. It's not like anything happens that's kind of off camera. But again, I think he's so amazing. And we stopped and just talked about a bunch of things. Most of the most of the juice, most of the gravy was in this podcast. Um, the thing I talked to him a little bit about was this music video that, as promised, at the end of this podcast, which is going to come very shortly, uh, we're going to play the music and we're going to show you the music video, which I still haven't seen. So you will be watching it for the first time. Um, the, the thing that I, I touched on talking about last week that I'm going to talk about really quick is like the the, the changing of social media from a fuck if i use the word influencer i don't know celebrity i hate both those words but as far as someone who needs a presence on social media to continue to uh, represent the brand and to grow the brand i need to change with the times the days of like posting photos for somebody like me are are pretty done like there's the algorithms as in what Facebook and Instagram reward you for posting, uh, the, the, the times are changing. I now need to do video stuff. So here, here's my goal of what I'm going to do. On Mondays, I want to put a clip of my stand-up. Um, not necessarily for my stand-up special, but maybe for my stand-up special. But also, I'm just going to start shooting. I've done 110 shows so far in the last year. And um, I'm just going to start recording them, especially like the beginning of them when I kind of riff, talk to the audience and um, uh, and kind of try out some new stuff or talk about that city, whatever it is. So I'm going to kind of start doing that. Just one little clip on that on on Mondays, on Wednesdays, the podcast, um, putting a clip of who I'm talking with again, all video. And then on Friday, um, putting up a clip of. Drinking Made Easy or Chug or Three Sheets or Four Sheets or Five Sheets, wherever we're at. And one of the reasons I'm telling you this is so you know what to expect and you know why I'm doing it, but also to keep myself and Mark, who's behind the camera, accountable to get to do this shit because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So anyway, all right. That being said, um, thank you so much for being part of this, uh, this podcast experience. Um, and now... Let's let's experience this fucking music video that I cannot wait to see. All right. I'll see you next week. If you want tickets to my show, of course, just go to zanelamper.com. Thanks. Cheers. Rolling down the street just the other day. Sky is blue, feeling more than okay. Fastest joint on my way to the set And I bet my homie ain't eat lunch yet Got his favorite cop so I got a brag Lady smiles as she hands me the bag Taking back what I heard from my friend When he said nah, dog, I'm on a When you're feeling like you need a change Cause you got cheeseburgers on the brain And you gotta give your soul a rinse Just say nah, dog, I'm on a When you need to shed some LBs Drinking too much saying no more please Sluggish livers growing fins Gotta tell your homies Nah, dog, I'm on a cleanse Blue cheese place downtown I'm on a cleanse Bad burger, if you are down I'm on a cleanse From the cappuccino that I found Nah, I'm on a cleanse Crap beer bar that I know I'm on a cleanse Decanted 82 Bordeaux I'm on a cleanse Is there any damn thing you can eat? Nah, dog, I'm on a cleanse After two long weeks of drinking the juice My skin's all tight and my jeans is loose At long last, gonna break that fast And I know, just a hole in the ass Pizza is a sweetness and I know this place The bottle time kind gonna stop our face Bye pie for a guy, but he contends with these six words Nah, no, dog, I'm on a cleanse Don't wanna do it cause you know it sucks Got two weeks to fit in your tux Drinking that slime, it's the newest trend Just say no, dog, I'm on a Christmas party's not taking a toll Belly done locked into a row Need more energy, get some wins Just tell all your homies No, dog, I'm on a cleanse Blue hey. cheese place downtown I'm on a cleanse Fast burger, down I'm on a cleanse From the cappuccino that I found mm. I'm on a cleanse Craft beer bar that I know I'm on a cleanse Decades 
it any two more toe I'm on a cleanse Is there any damn thing you can't eat? No, dog, I'm on a cleanse Hey, John, tell them what we're talking about Let's be clear When you got people all around you And you don't want to be near Just say these words and they'll be conveyed Malibu cleanse, Oktoberfest cleanse, Comic Con cleanse, wine tasting cleanse, fundraiser cleanse, pancake breakfast. Nah, dog, I'm on a cleanse. Funeral cleanse, bar mitzvah cleanse, smog check cleanse, tax audit cleanse, Senate hearing cleanse, opera cleanse, jury duty. Nah, dog, I'm on a cleanse. Yo, I'm on a cleanzo with Lorenzo, juice bar all up inside his benzo. Truth is. We ain't even friends, so. Do I feel better? Hmm. Well, that depends, though. My girl, listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We out. <laughs>